So I'll be honest, I wanted to take a bit of a break from talking about Connor Bedard, at least until he plays the first game of the season against Pittsburgh next week. But of course, I'll still keep an eye on it. And I was watching this Blackhawks wild preseason shootout yesterday. I can't believe I was watching a preseason shootout. And Bedard goes in and tries to completely send Fleury's jock up to the rafters, like completely dangle the guy out of his mind, and somehow ends up in this position. And once I realized the kid was okay, I started laughing a little bit because I couldn't believe how much of a wipeout this was in a shootout, and honestly, I just moved on, forgot about it completely. Then I go on Twitter, and even today... Blackhawks fans and lots of Connor Bedard fans in general are mad at Marc-Andre Fleury. And not just a little bit mad, like mad enough where I can't show you on YouTube what people are saying about this guy. And then I rewatched it and it's like, oh, it does look like Fleury trips Bedard on his way through. And that's why people are really mad at Fleury. But this is weird to me because Fleury is like the epitome of a good, nice guy, right? In the NHL, everybody loves Marc-Andre Fleury. He's always been really nice and, you know, that big smile and everything. And... I want to note also that he goes over and gives Bedard like a little tap just to be like, hey, are you okay, kid? But then Taylor Hall goes after Bedard and also gets completely sideswiped. So that's what made, I guess, quite a few fans upset with Marc-Andre Fleury. And for Hawks fans in particular, add that to the fact that when Fleury got traded to Chicago a couple of years ago, there was a bunch of rumors about him retiring instead of playing in Chicago and not wanting to play there. So much so that he had to come out and publicly clear that up before getting traded a few months later away from Chicago. And three seasons later, he's still in the NHL. I don't know, I want to hear more about this from you guys, because for me, I was just watching this, and I thought it was kind of funny that we had two back-to-back complete wipeouts. Uh, I I didn't think much of it until I went on Twitter and saw what was going on there. As usual, let me know your thoughts on this, and also, let me know which teams you want me to cover by either commenting or liking this video, because I want to, like I've said before, diversify and cover more teams this year. Let me know. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.